Beyonce running a Me Too check, <laughs> running Me Too checks on collaborators for Re- Renaissance album report. So basically, uh, I I love this idea that she's only running Me Too background checks, and like a bunch of like attempted murderers and like, <laughs> like uh, kidnappers <laughs> slip right through the ranks, and they're like, well, she's only looking for the guys who are uh, touching women wrong uh, and Offending who said them. bad things to women on the internet. Mm-hmm. That's what I think happened. So Beyonce is reportedly running Me Too, hashtag Me Too, checks on everyone involved in her new album. I want to know if she's running them on women too. Yeah, that would be well, fair. That's, that's what I want to know. Equality. I just don't understand how she would be expected to know what someone does in their private life that hasn't even been made public right, no one might information have yet. It. But it's because uh, she's been burnt once. This music producer on Drunken Love was accused of sexual abuse in 2020, but vehemently it. denied the claims. He was arrested in August 2020 on 15 counts of sexual assault and five counts of felony assault. I know Ike Turner was just recently accused of something. Really? These are all I- things that happened between 2010 and 2018. Why would Beyonce be expected to know no. that? And what are you supposed to do? Just ask it's someone like, fault. have you assaulted someone before? And then if they say no, then thumbs up. You're yeah, innocent. Yeah, you're like, in. Like, you can run a background check. So I guess the idea here is like, that's if only it shows if you've up, already been caught. That's what I'm saying. Show up the whole point check. of Me yeah. Too is it's on people who are still at large. No, what they're doing is they're hiring BTS fans who have mastered <laughs> the art of internet stalking and they're looking for any type <laughs> of like impropriety that they may have from somebody on social Dude, media. And, and if you think about it, this is like a whole other level because the K pop stands are offended if they find out that one of their idols bullied other kids in middle school That's or like ridiculous. grade school. Different culture. Yeah, a little bit. So she's already uh, allegedly rejected two high profile artists from appearing on the record. The single ladies hit maker, age 40, whose hotly anticipated seventh studio album is set to drop on July 29th, made the decision after her former collaborator was charged with uh, R word. Uh, the Sunday report. Uh, the Sunday reported on Tuesday. Music producer Detail, who won a Grammy in 2015 for co-writing Beyonce and Jay Z's smash hit "Drunken Love," was accused of abuse in 2020, but has vehemently denied these claims. Detail, whose real name is Noel Fisher, was arrested in August of 2020 uh, on 15 counts of sexual assault wow. and five counts of felony assault for alleged attacks between 2010 and 2018. So I do. I imagine she's like, well, I mean, what am I supposed to do about the felony assault ones? We'll just skip those. But those, <laughs> but the sexual assault <laughs> ones, that's the serious stuff. That, that, that does feel like, it's kind of like when people talk about um, the death penalty. And the new, the new, from what I've seen in the public, is like the new case is no longer about whether you believe in the death penalty or not. Like there's a lot of people who are like, no, I absolutely don't believe in the death penalty. They're like, well, what about for uh, child abusers? Oh, yes, well, then I believe in the death penalty. It's like a weird new conundrum that people have about what actually uh, constitutes well, the death penalty. It's about like it, whether you support something in theory versus the yeah. reality of it when it's one individual situation and you're not the person that that, that person hurt. Right. Or you're not affected by it. Mm -hmm. So you're able to say what you think the right consequence is. So it says, but in an ultra cautious bid to avoid getting caught up in any potential messiness, the multi-time Grammy award winner resorted to vetting her collaborators. Shouldn't they be doing that anyways? This is disturbing to me. I mean, what does that involve? Because you can't possibly know what someone does behind closed yeah. doors. I'm, I'm saying, well, at least for criminal record vetting, right? Like, uh, sure, like but detail didn't have a crim- a criminal record beforehand. before. So why, why would she be blamed? Be so I don't understand the guilt by association thing of all of this. It's not like Whether she's it's like that. Somebody gets exposed for saying something offensive or for committing crimes. Why the guilt by association? And it's like, uh, did they hire him? Like, I really need you to produce this album. But by the way, have you happened to uh, abuse anyone and lately? And he's like, no. no. And they're like, I'm taking your word for yep. it. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> no, right? I feel like if you get a high level music producer, you're going to have to be like, that's okay. Whatever happened in the past is fine because you're it's a great the, producer. It's the music industry. It's not I mean, like it's yeah. <laughs> bastions of, of goodness and charm. It's not a church. Charm. What the heck? They're very much not like uh, going out to um, feed the homeless They're together. not known right. for their propriety. No, they're not. All. So, but in, uh, so it says, Beyonce was devastated when she found out detail. One of her past collaborators was accused of rape and sexual assault. But accused doesn't mean convicted. Exactly. Right? And, and now, okay. 
we have to be Keep careful this. when we do this because look, I've been ragging on Ezra Miller for uh, a month now, but those are still just accusations. Yeah, he hasn't been- to be fair, there's a lot of them, and they are all like a similar type. The the, the well, I'm saying like the, the that ones was that, the conundrum of me too. It's like how many people should come out before yeah. you make a conclusion either way, or right. do you need to at all? In the Ezra Miller ones, for me, it was uh, as much as the 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 grooming allegations were what infuriated me. It's not like there wasn't the history of violence by throwing chairs at people. Right. The clear attempt to manipulate a cop through language threatening during people the address. on video yeah threatening people on video recently. so there's at least a precedent set there right if yeah. there's no precedent and all there are are accusations in an industry where people are extremely uh, vicious and extremely um, ambitious to get ahead mm-hmm. uh, and, and I, I know for a fact that Beyonce at her level in the music industry has no doubt worked with other music producers and just like other creative people who happen to be evil behind the scenes. Like, that's just undeniably true. Right. So I don't know why we would zero in on just this uh, producer detail, uh, because he's just one person who got caught. Right. Yeah. Just because um, he got caught, they're going to make an example out of him. That means it's all about PR, and it's not about that. her ethics. Of course her not. Ethical it was standards. never about, you know, never about ethics. To be fair, it's not her job to care about... I'm not saying she shouldn't, but I'm saying, like, she's just trying to get her album out, right? And she's got uh, requirements to her producers, to her record label, and she's trying to get this stuff out with as few uh, uh, hiccups as possible, right? This is the uh, sure. This is the cynical side of a capitalist endeavor, which, uh, as much as I support, just say we have to be aware of because you have to understand that she doesn't care about whether uh, detail attacks someone. She cares whether detail attacking someone is going to hurt her Affects record her sales exactly. down the line. Exactly. Is that a good thing? But no. But it wouldn't, and it didn't at the yeah. time. So where is the worry even coming from? And the, why is it someone's entire job or like an entire team of people assigned to this task that's literally impossible it also kind of like paints a, uh, like a like a target on your back we're like well what if this guy slips through now uh, and some accusation comes out later yeah and uh, then it's it's your problem because you didn't vet them properly oh you should have known this is not nothing but a virtue signal yep. she knows it isn't gonna work there's no way to enforce it this is like them this is ridiculous no there's absolutely no way to make sure that this happens she stopped working with him and her team now run <laughs> hashtag me Too checks on any potential collaborators. Two songs from her high profile iris have been rejected over allegations they're facing. The source added the insider said that while her decision has rubbed people up the wait, rubbed people up the wrong Why? way. That <laughs> is a weird good. choice of like words like given that. the topic. <laughs> uh, we are getting so close to uh, I know, so, I'm close so close to crazy party. So close to crazy. Uh, I can't believe that that's not a joke to say rubbed up people the wrong way. <laughs> I really don't. Come like on, that. man! It, it was an inside joke with only themselves. Well, it, there's nothing funnier than Me Too jokes in, in the music industry. Hilarious. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Like uh, uh, the insider said, while her decision has quote rubbed people up the wrong way, oh my. the former Destiny's <laughs> Child front woman doesn't care because she wants to set an example that any abuse shouldn't be normalized. No, what she's saying is that any abuse shouldn't be normalized when I make. A record out, uh, a record right. that's up if it's yeah. tethered to, to me, exactly. So, uh, as long as your uh, abuse has nothing to do with me, uh, I choose not to care. I'm sure is, is is what she believes. I'm sure she's even friends with, you know, perpetrators of, of assault. Of course, she may not know worse. it, or she may know it and not care because they're her friends. So, 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 what do we do about like? Thank you. So, thank so, you. Uh, the, ah. in which means we will have a party soon. Woo. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so I want to know what a Me Too check is. Is that like paying private investigators to like specifically look up these people and it's like uh, so and so and then hashtag Me Too on I, Twitter? I bet they just do like a quick scan of their social media. Have you? Have you? Have you recently uh, assaulted anyone? Have do you, you have the vibes? Yeah. Do you have the bad vibes? Have you followed any women down any dark alleys recently? <laughs> yes or no? Oh, check yes question. or check no. Check no. Yeah. Have you ever said something to the tune of she shouldn't have been dressed like that? Have you ever yes said, would no. you like a drink? Yes. Have you said, would you like to come back it's to my place? so dumb. Does yeah, the idea stupid. of a drink left unattended fill you with a nameless sense of joy that you can't <laughs> quite explain? <laughs> that might These be a good problem. These are good questions. It's very <laughs> Thank you. I Thank like you. it. I, I don't know what voice that is, but that's that's the voice of I whoever like it. this... Uh, yes, that's, Keep that one that's on my lock. That's it's my good. like Raymond Chandler-esque <laughs> uh, um, private investigator who is... Uh, 
asking these people if they're if they're um, abusers to women. Yeah, so, you're like, and yeah, I want to know if they're, yeah. and I want to know if they're if they're, if she's checking women too. I I actually want to know question, that. Well, yeah. I I would guess that there are more male music producers. Well, that must anyway. be sexism. Must be any differences? Uh, yeah, if anyone is overrepresented, we want it's equality. Definitely right? oppression. Yes. We want equality. So Someone planned be that. Yeah. Um, I just I hope more comes out about this and like how they plan to do it. Yep. I want I details. details. Me too, for sure. I want to know how many people are on the team. She like she starts like doing seminars. Like uh, she has like her own like the Beyonce Me Too background check kit that she starts selling to yeah, Hollywood producers. Yeah, she has producers. a TED talk where she talks about yes. you know how to vet people. This is how you weed out all of the creeps in the music industry. It's she like, wouldn't be foolproof. in the music industry if she hated creeps. Okay, let's. Her be dad real. was no, a, her dad was a producer. Was he? Yeah. Was he a creep? I don't know if he was a creep. Uh-huh. I don't. I'm. I'm guessing not. But uh, her dad was a, a big time music producer, which is why she was the front face. Yeah, of, I heard like that's Destiny why Stone. she was kind of like pushed into that. Oh there it God. is. There you go. See if 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 you're fa- if if detail is is following you down a down a dark alley. Just play that sound effect and run as fast <laughs> as you can. You'll be yeah, okay. You'll, be fine. you'll get away. Yeah. Get out the air horn. There you go. Thank oh my you. gosh. Woo. These keep landing on my keyboard. Oh, <laughs> uh, here's a fun fun fact, guys. Uh, uh, Mary got me a, a birthday card uh, and a gift for my birthday. And in the card, she put a one of these twenties. Oh, oh, Did you think it friend. was real? I went and tried she to spend you. it right then. No, I didn't. You got oh arrested. Gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so uh, that'd be really like Britt can't come into work today because yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. And then they're asking for bail and I give them fake money. No, oh, that'll work. <laughs> All right. There are some super chats in there. All right. Let's see. And thank you for the crisis. Party, thank guys. you guys. Uh, Dragon's talent said, uh, Gilan, is it Gilan Maxwell? Uh, go uh, go back up to the uh, top. There's another one from Dragon Stallion. That was the fifty dollar one. Oh, that got snap. us our party almost. Woo. Oh, um, Dragon's Talon one thousand and one said, "Wait, doesn't Beyonce have her own hashtag?" Oh, uh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> That's not ha- a great hashtag. Is ha- that defamatory? Hashtag she, she touched my naughty spot. <laughs> oh wow, he got it in there. Is I'll, that really hashtag? I have no idea. I gotta look it up now. Okay, uh, I do know that Twitter. Dragon Stallion. Uh, I look at it as Dragon Stallion, not Dragon's Talon. It's the Talon. Uh, I know, for but, sure. But I looked at. I was thinking of um, Arnold, or not Schwarzenegger. Who's uh, Stallone, the Italian Stallion? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> the Italian Stallion. There you go. <laughs> Nathan Koss said, we live in the age of the court of public opinion, not the court of law. Guilt by association is equivalent to accessory to a crime. Now, is that because of just the the, the vast uh, ability to get information now? Like, I it just so. I don't think it would be so prevalent if it wasn't for these darned computers that you wretched kids are always <laughs> using. <laughs> you wretched like, kids. <laughs> I, no, seriously. Like, I, if we want society to return to normal, get rid of the internet. I agree. I, I would love to. It's one, not going to happen. One movie no I would love to see. anyone. One movie I would love to see get made is like a is like a horror movie, a horror type movie where a kid's like, I was born in the wrong time, and they actually like a kid gets transported in time and has to like figure out how to live without a phone and all the various things that you, like his tire, <laughs> his car breaks down and he can't call AAA. Well, He's think never- about if we didn't have the internet for even twenty four hours, yep. it, it would be pandemonium. And I'm just thinking of like the basic things, like he's gonna he wants to order a pizza and he's like, God, my God, I have to call to order a pizza. But how do you find the number? How, like, what, where do what, I get the number? My, I was told of this magical book in which has all of the numbers listed. Yellow pages. Just dun, think dun, of it dun. like that. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> uh, someone else said the Ezra Miller lesson is if you get in trouble, just say you're trans. Yep. Works. Uh, 60% of the time, it works every time. The the thing that I pointed out when Ian was here, I said that's truly evil about it is he all the stories of him with women are with women. Like that he's like he's had, he's had, he's clearly having yeah. sex with women. He's clearly in that way, whether uh, I'm discounting pronouns in him being trans, he is heterosexual from his biological, from his state of biological sex, right? But he says to a male police officer, I am transgender, non-binary. I want a female to search me. That's evil, dude. Yep. Did you guys see that they edited a quote from a victim of his to put the correct pronouns? Yeah. I think it was Vanity Fair. I did. Holy. And like, I think it was Variety. Shady. They at, at the yeah. very least they added a note that was like it's unclear if the woman at the time knew that Miller goes by they them pronouns. He's attacking you. She Literally doesn't have to respect your, your pronouns. Face, ripping your face off. If what he the can't, heck? If he can't respect your bodily autonomy, Literally spit you in her face need, and she's expected you to You do not need to respect his pronouns. Right. I'm sorry. It, it's li- we've literally taken tolerance and politeness to a level of insanity. Well, I tweeted, I was like, they're taking the side of the abuser Mm -hmm. for Mm -hmm. the sake of the hierarchy that they've built. This woke stuff. Insanity. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Dragon's Talon no... also said party time. Thank you for that. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Newt said, <laughs> rub up Brett the wrong way. Mm. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, no, charge no, no, no. Unprofessional. For that. Oh, my. Okay. Get out, Brett. <laughs> uh, Dragon's Talon said, Gilan Maxwell running the Me Too checks for Beyonce. <laughs> Just something like that. Perfect. <laughs> she she trafficked it. children to no one. Yeah. It's rehabilitation. That's who, yeah, she's checking. After prison. Dragon's Talon said, Damn you kids get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I am I am uh, I am what Mary hates the most which is like a, a get off my lawn. Uh, I love type. it because you also wear the grandpa cardigan. Yes. Yeah, I like the and cardigan. And it just fits the, the vibe. You Great. can literally picture me out on my front lawn like you waving yeah. your cane. Kids, yes. <laughs> get off my lawn. Thanks for watching this clip guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.